Welcome to the Performance Tips Podcast. This is podcast number two, My Daily I Am. Given it is podcast number two, that must mean there's a podcast number one, and there is. It's on crisp writing. Um, I'm Mark Lockbaum. I'm a professor. And my goal, of course, is not to say uh all the time. I have a script. I read this podcast number two, and I sent it to my mom. She was kind enough not to say I was awful. Um, she was a mom and said, I'm so much better if I just talk because that's my, I don't know if my gift, but I like to talk. I like to talk now and wasn't when I was a child. So I said, just talk it. I have a script. I have points and I watch tons of podcasts, not tons. I watch enough, 500 million views and people are sitting there reading notes. Um, so it seems, though I just said, um, again, that it's okay just to talk. And I have my points laid out, and I can't wait to share those with you. And so, <clears throat> I'm Mark. I'm a professor. There's a link below, if this is YouTube, to uh, find more about me, or you can just type my name into the World Wide Web. There's thousands of pages on me. My podcast is about uh, my platform called My Best 7. It frames all my teaching and consulting. And if you look at YouTube, uh, other other YouTubers, they'll tell their story maybe for the first year. Then they'll say, hey, after 300,000 subscribers, everybody knows my story. Uh, you can just go back and listen to it and catch up. So I'm going to, I'm podcast too, so I'm going to tell my story. I'm a teacher. I'm a professor. I've always been a professor. This is 2020. This is 2020. In 2050, I'll still be a professor. My goal is to spread my platform with my former students and colleagues in different languages. And so it will be me, it will be the same basic script, and then it will be in other languages so we can reach the entire world. So what is My Best 7? My Best 7 is a, is a platform based on the seven success traits of elite athletes. Over all sorts of 40 years, 50 years of research, there are about seven things that seem to make sense. And I'm going to read those things from my script to make sure I say them accurately. Those are, one, your body. Two, your ability to learn. Three, your rate of improvement. Four, your training attitude. Five, your personality. Six, your use of psychological skills. And seven, your skill sets. And so each podcast will fall into one of those categories. They can, they can mix because it's hard to do one category without another. But in general, I'll say, hey, this is this category. My daily I am, it falls under trait six, the use of psychological skills. Now, the issue is, is that when you think of elite performers, they all use psychological skills. They all say they do. The issue becomes the difference between, it seems like, between elite and non-elite performers are elite performers don't really recall being taught to use psychological skills. They, they woke up doing it just like a great singer can harmonize from the get-go. Uh, great field goal kicker boots it down the middle in third grade. And so they already have the skills, whether it's performance skills or psychological skills from the get-go. I remember a long time ago uh, a dissertation on the mental skills of Hall of Fame baseball players. It's the list. Rod Carew, Carly Sprimsky, Hank Aaron, and others. And they all use psychological skills. They all talk about it. They all were very open about things that they did. And I think, you know, the, the bottom line at a sports psychology conference was, but nobody taught them those skills. They don't, they don't, they did not say, I learned this skill from this sports psychologist who was practicing in the 1950s. There probably weren't any, at least in the United States. Though we all can't become the home run king like Hank Aaron, we can learn the skills that elite players, elite athletes, elite people in business, music, teachers use. And so this one, again, this is on the use of psychological, psychological skills, specifically what I call my daily I am. Other types of scripts exist that are similar to, similar to this. Jason Self won two World Series with the Cardinals, uh, St. Louis Cardinals. His is called the 100 Second Mental Workout. Uh, we watch it in my classes. I tell people about it all the time. It's a really great script. Whether it's my version or Jason's version, you will improve. 
I promise you that. Jason Bont promises you that in his, in his video that you can find on YouTube. Why? Because you'll become more focused on your day. You'll become more focused on your goals for that day. That's what I really meant to say. You'll become more focused on your goals for that day and the actions that are required to achieve those goals. And so let's learn it. I promise you this is going to work. I have five parts. I have five distinct parts of my script. Part one is the secret. If there's a secret, right, in YouTube or self-help, there's always secrets. This is a secret. You have to be committed. It's a commitment statement. And I'm going to read that commitment statement. I am committed to becoming my best self by spending about 90 seconds each morning and a few minutes each night on my daily I am. That's the secret. You can't get to the good stuff if you're not committed to doing it, to starting. You have to start somewhere. And it starts with part one, a commitment statement. I am committed. Part two concerns breathing. Now, there's a ton of ways to breathe. Number one, just breathe. That's the most important part. Don't, don't hyperventilate, but just breathe. Uh, whether you do uh, my method, it's not my method, it's a method. Six in, two hold, six out, or you do five in, two hold, seven out, or some combination of. I cannot remember what box breathing is with Commander Devon. He's, he's great at this. He, he is somebody to follow and listen to. Uh, maybe his is, it's a box, so it's, it's all equal in and out. Here's an example of a 6-2-6 six, six count. I'll look at my script. We go in, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, out, one, two, three, four, five, six. It'll feel like forever if it's the first time you've ever inhaled, held, and exhaled at that count. It'll feel like it's 10 minutes. And so the idea is to, is to that's going to help you focus on your script. That's, that's the truth. It's going to help you focus on your script. It's going to help you take in, take in your words, take in your goals, hold them, and then move on. Part three is what I call the actual I am. There's a bunch of I am's. I am committed. And now here's the real I am. I am. You have to find something about yourself. It doesn't have to be your goal. It's not your goal. Something about yourself that's going to keep you going through the day. It has to be accurate thus. right? Thus it's got to be accurate. Something that's going to keep you going through your day. Here's mine. I am encouraging and enthusiastic. I wasn't always... That's for sure. I've done self-help. I am now. I'm encouraging and I'm enthusiastic. So throughout my day, if I have bumps in the road, I say to myself, self, you're encouraging and enthusiastic. You can get through this. You can see the better side of this person. Stop. There's got to be rules. Right? If it's a school thing, there's got to be rules. But I can be encouraging and enthusiastic and not take a negative negative turn. It'd be really unrealistic for me. Today is a Saturday. Uh, I don't know the date. Well, I'm looking at my computer to find the date. The 18th. Conor McGregor's fighting the cowboy. It'd be very unrealistic for me to say that I'm a tough guy. It would be ridiculously silly to say. I'd become nervous if I said I was a tough guy. I have, I have no... I've never had an idea to say I'm going to be an MMA fighter. I never had an idea that I was going to become a boxer. I'm, I'm old. Mike Tyson was young when I was young. He might be the same age. Never had the idea that I would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like that. So it would be unrealistic. It's not to be accurate about yourself. And it gets you through tough times. Hmm? Gets you through tough times. Part four is setting, now we're getting close to your day. We're getting really, really close here. So I'm going to set a moderately difficult goal that I can achieve today. Not 10 years from now, not, not I don't know, a lifetime from now. And the issue is, is that in self-help, it is ridiculously fun to set dream goals. 
I want to be the CEO of Coca-Cola. I do. Why wouldn't I? Soda might not be good for you. Then, you know, one, one can a day. They didn't say to drink 44 ounces at a time. Go to sporting events. I don't know. It seems like it'd be fun, right? So that's fun. A long-term goal to have a billion dollars. Oh, it's so much fun to talk about. Houses I'd buy and trips I'd go on and things I would do and golf courses I would play. Dream goals are just dreams. Long-term goals are just long-term goals. All that matters is what you do today. You have to check off a box of a goal that you set that you achieved. And so when we do that, we're going to have to have some action items with it. So I have a goal, then I have action items. And I've, I've talked about this for, well, it feels like 30 years. you got to have action items. I don't call them sub-goals, I just call them action items. So here's an example. Let me give you an example. I need to read it so I make sure I'm correct, accurate. Here's my today goal. I'm going to educate others on a seven success trait. Do I want to do this for years and decades? Yeah, sure I do. I do. It seems like a great idea. It seems like a lot of fun. I teach all the time. Why, why not record it? But I have to do it today. Right now, I have to actually get something done to, to do that, right? So here are some lists of things that I have to get done, right? I've got to work on a podcast script today. I've got to take a photo or have somebody take a photo of me for the YouTube thumbnail. And I've got to record. I'm recording right now. And I got to get it up, right? So I have to actually do those things or just talking about being a YouTube star. It's just talking about being a YouTube star. That's all it is. It's just fun talk. Go to golf, talk with the guys in the pro shop. I have fun guys. Go on and on and on about goals and dreams and fun things to do. But if I don't actually go do them, then, then it's, just, it's just a dream and a goal. And so the point would be to pull the, this together at the moment is that my I am and my goal have to actually, again, be coherent. They have to actually somehow sync up. And so to put out a podcast on performance enhancement is an encouraging, is an encouraging thing. And I can do it with enthusiasm. I can talk excitedly. I can say, ah, I want you to do this. So it all makes sense. If I said I'm a tough guy and I go to the boxing gym down the street and I don't really go in, I never really pay for a membership and it never really happens, then, then it, doesn't, it doesn't work, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not, it's not a goal. It's not an accurate statement of myself. I'm tough enough? Uh, I'm not tough enough to be an MMA fighter. So last is part five. Part five is, is doing it again. And saying your I am statement, continuing the, the 626 breathing pattern or any pattern, again, besides hyperventilating, any pattern works. All right, so I'm taking in my script. I say my goal. My goal is, is to educate others today on a seven success trait. To do so, I will what? Again, Write a script. There's a script right here in front of me. I need to take a photo. Or have a photo taken of me for the YouTube thumbnail. I need to record it. And here I am. I'm recording it. Right then and there, that's about 90 seconds. I'm not doing this to be 10 seconds short of Jason's self so that my method's better because it's quicker. Uh, I'm doing it because uh, it's about 90 seconds. Where should you do this? That's a great question. There's two things that we all do every day the same way. We get up, go right to the bathroom, and then we brush our teeth. And then at the end of the day, we reverse the pattern, we brush our teeth, and we go to the bathroom. And so right on your mirror, which I'm thinking right now, is my YouTube thumbnail, is me brushing my teeth, a big sign that says, my daily I am goes here. And it's a great time to do it. Get your day started on the right path, Especially if your I am statement's accurate. Wake up, I'm encouraging enthusiastic. I'm encouraging enthusiastic to others. I'm encouraging enthusiastic to all people. That's a great way to start the day. Go through the goals, go through the breathing. 90 seconds. I can't remember what Jason says. 
what 90 seconds is, it's, it's a time to, to answer one email. I, I don't know how many seconds you brush your teeth. If you have an electric toothbrush, I think it's two minutes, so 30 seconds longer. So then right before you go to bed, here's the key part. Right before I go to bed, then I need to look at that script. I need to look at that mirror and say to myself, self, did I do that? What, what adjustments do I need to make? There's always adjustments to make, most likely, unless your day went perfectly. And perfectly, there's the rest of my script. So I ask myself how my day went. I need to take a couple more minutes, probably, than when I read it. And I look, say, did I, did I do what I said I was going to do today? I could see doing it earlier in the day, before dinner. Depends on your work schedule. My work schedule is varied. And the day is good, so I get the next day started for things that I want to achieve, to be the person I hope to be. You don't have to achieve. We can, uh, there will be a podcast on the self-made person. We'll talk a ton and ton and ton about Abe Lincoln, President Lincoln. Talk about his dad, people beating up on his dad because he's a sharecropper. Provided food, provided shelter, provided clothing. Ah, he did his job. You don't have to... You don't have to climb Mount Everest every day. So, I got lost for a second. So maybe I need smaller parts. So that's what I'm reviewing my goal. I think to myself, I look at my goal, I look at my action, I say to myself, self, is this realistic? I tell you what's not realistic. It's writing a script. Getting a picture is realistic. That's easy. Easy enough. Picky about it, but it's easy enough. And then recording. Recording takes forever because I make mistakes and I'm worried the dogs are going to bark and the, uh, the sound's going to go on or a cat's going to jump in my lap. So it takes forever. It's probably, it is healthy. It's not probably. It's very healthy to check what you're doing and how's, how's it going each night or however your work schedule works. So for me, it's probably realistic to say I'm going to do two a week, two podcasts a week. I've got the global part. I've got Jessica, I got Rebecca, I got others in the works, Christy, others in the works, All right? So I got a Osra, so I got to get scripts to them, I got to talk to them about it to make sure that the English can go into another language and they can get their podcast up so we can take over the world for free, free self-help, free performance enhancement. So, as promised, here's a wrap-up. If you do your daily I am, you will get better. You will achieve as you hope within, within, you know, within realistic realms. Again, it's not when we have the Super Bowl edition, very soon, Super Bowl edition. Hype matters and weight. <laughs> it matters. I'm not going to become an offensive, I'm not going to become anything in the NFL at my size. Zero, zero things. There's not, a, there's not a category with my height and body size, my dimensions, that works. I don't know of one. Maybe an inside receiver a long time ago, but then I'd have to actually take contact. That's, that's, a, big, that's a big if. It's a big barrier, right? Big barrier. Getting hit by people who are that size. Large men getting hit. Right? You've got to do it every day. You got to review it at the end of the day. And then what I want in the wrap up again is anybody else wants I I watch Ed Miley's and his endings are great. You know, share it with a friend. I say share it with an enemy. That's my that's what I've added to it. Share it with a friend and share it with an enemy. Maybe your enemy becomes your friend. We all need more friends. We need fewer enemies, that's for sure. The world could be a better place. And as Ed says, tons of tons of details and free. It's a good deal. Thanks a ton for listening. Be sure if you want, hit subscribe. Make a bell ring at you on your iPhone or your non-iPhone uh, when a new podcast comes up. We're real close. Real close to that global thing when it's just me. It's not just me. It's a bunch of people. So boom, boom, boom. Go get going. Again, thanks a ton for listening. I'll attach this video that video is worthless if you're driving a car. You can just listen to the audio. Thanks a ton.